Can we expect your presence at the launch? Sir Lucan. It would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may. Um, if you would permit me, my lords. Of course, Sir Percival. Alistair, you know as well as I do that Whitechapel is the key to these disturbances, to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The Council has spoken. Few dared countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure? You are the Knight Commander! Make him see reason. You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head, no one else's. Whitechapel remains off limits. That is officially. You have my thanks, Sir Lucan. Of your thanks, I have no need. Bring me results. As the Knight Commander wishes. Friend Mallory has always been something of a rogue operative. I've never known a better man. Still, I shall rely on you to be a, call it a sobering influence. Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill-advised. Huh. Do look after my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep Isabeau from danger when she's of a mind. Oh, you say true. What's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. Everything seems to be running smoothly. Yes, Sir Lucan. Quite smoothly. We shall be in Portsmouth in a few hours. Indeed. Then off to the Americas. Lucan! Rebels! Get Hastings out now! Get him out of here! Hastings got away! Is this what you would call reasonable? We could not have foreseen these circumstances, Alastair. Your mission to Whitechapel was to remain covert. I have received word of numerous casualties and reports of destruction to the London Hospital. And now this! I intend to stand by my word. I alone will assume responsibility for all the consequences that may befall us. Sebastian! You do understand. There is little I can do to protect you from the wrath of the Lord Chancellor, or of the Order. Your father will see reason. Right now, our concern should be finding the other device. Grace. Do not blame yourself for what happened. Let this cloud pass. How can I? He was my mentor. My brother. So he was. But concern yourself with the upcoming solemnities. The rest can wait. Too many questions remain, Alistair. I intend to find answers. Mallory's death will be avenged. Do not fall prey to dark thoughts of retribution. That way madness lies. Come. The Council awaits our presence. Lord Hastings is on his way from the United India House. He wishes to thank you in person for saving his life and the lives of all the other people on the ship. The United India Company owes you a debt of gratitude. Great service! The Lord Chancellor perhaps speaks too harshly. He would do well to remember that Sir Percival's force did uncover evidence of a rebel effort against the- Substantial evidence! All knights do arms! Protect Lord Hastings! Let's eliminate these godless rebels once and for all! Arm yourselves, and take defensive positions on the bridge! Galahad, your command. All the years I've known your father, never have I seen him so obstinate! Your allegations strike at the very heart of the Empire. I fear he cannot sustain another blow as great as the loss of Mallory. All he need do is journey to Blackwall Yard. For what evidence? The destruction was total. A clear case of arson, according to Commissioner Doyle. Apparently, a small group of rebels was seen on the docks. It was all rather... What is the word the Commissioner is so fond of? Oh yes, elementary. 
Now what do you think? I have no opinion. Should you wish, I can attempt to persuade the Lord Chancellor to put the matter before the Council. If it is true that we have a traitor in our midst, word well, is bound to get back to the conspirators. What do you propose? Breach the walls of the United India House under cover of night. Any information that will shed light on the events of the last few days must surely be found there. Trespass on the company's headquarters. You are cut from the same cloth as Mallory. Drastic circumstances call for drastic measures. Oh. I would have your assistance, Alistair. I hardly think it proper for the Knight Commander to be you seen... You know the lay of the land. I will need your guidance to navigate the grounds of the United India House. If a conspiracy is to be revealed, your testimony will carry weight with your father. Very well. But the two of us alone will not suffice to infiltrate the compound. If what you say is true, there are precious few we can trust. My sister, Lafayette. I cannot involve them until I have more evidence. Then who? I might know just the person who can help us. I thank you, brother. We're approaching the United India House. I assume we're not planning to enter through the front door. Not to worry. I've made preparations for our incursion. Gaining access to the compound proved to be a little more difficult than planned. We're here. Back entrance to the compound? You could say that. Crossbow. Brings back memories. Ancient ones of that. Thought it best we stay silent on this mission. Mm. Let's get going. Compound is patrolled all through the night. Guards man all entrances. What's the incursion point? The gardens. Should provide us enough cover to move in unnoticed. Follow me. Should head to the rooftops. Francis' intelligence does pan out. A trustworthy man, it seems. Not really. He has a debt to repay. Failure to deliver on his word would prove most unpleasant to him. We need to find a safe anchor point. Gazebo seems to fit the parameters. Good. Let's deploy the line. Done. Alistair, I need you to stay here and spot my path. Once I'm clear, I'll give you the go-ahead to enter. Very well. Uh, do be careful. My sister wouldn't forgive me if I were to return alone. What she doesn't know cannot hurt her. What's next? Clear the west wing. I'll move through the east. It would be wise to have the communicator from here on. Good point. Yeah. Let's rendezvous inside. Look and hold your fire! This is Lakshmi Bai, the leader of the rebellion. She is your confederate. Have you taken leave of your senses, man? I might ask the same question. If I didn't know you any better, I'd think you'd led me into a rebel ambush. As I might fear an arrest. We do not have time for this. We needed help, and she is the only one I could turn to. This is madness. You're putting the very core of our order in jeopardy. Alistair, you have to trust me. You asked that we find proof. She was with me in Blackwall. She witnessed what I found there. You mean to tell me that she helped you destroy the United India Company docks? My father was right. That was an act of pure terrorism. She used you. She brought this conspiracy to my attention. And if we're to see it through, her help is invaluable. And what if you're wrong? Then she and I will answer for our actions. 
and suffer the consequences. As Mallory did. I hope you're right, Gray. I would not want to see you on the wrong side of this mess. Neither would I, brother. I thank you, Sir Lucan, for delivering these meddlers. Deal with them. And do not fail us. You. Quite fortuitous, wouldn't you say, Sir Galahad? The rebel leader captured, and a traitor revealed, all in one fell swoop. The traitor being you, regrettably. Alistair. How could you? Forgive me, brother. I have to look to my own kind above all. Your kind? Run! Council's indulgence. Let us not forget Sir Galahad's service to this order over the centuries. Perhaps our brother Knight can be saved. And once more put onto the righteous path. The Knight Commander shows too much leniency. Sir Galahad sought an audience with the Lord Chancellor and me. He hurled a number of senseless accusations at the United India Company and seemed intent on finding Lord Hastings. As his commander, I tried to dissuade him from pursuing his allegations. It is now clear he did not heed my advice. I knew you would return, brother. Come out of the shadows, damn you! You and I? We are not that different. I do what I must to protect my kind. We fight only for our right to live. That's a lie! One day, perhaps, you will understand. Forgive me, Grayson. This is not the outcome I sought. I have lived too long to not know this day would come. Why, Alistair? You have forced us outside all these years. I've seen things I am condemned to remember. Civilizations born and destroyed by humanity's incessant greed. The pride of men <laughs> slaughtering each other in the name of their so-called God. We will atone for our sins in time. But how can you justify the atrocities your kind have committed? My kind... My kind are no more evil than yours. What of your sister? Your father? Was it all a lie? Izzy... 
My father. <coughs> I loved them as my own blood. But they cannot begin to know the curse I have lived with. My son. Father. Forgive me. There shall come a day when all our burdens will end, brother. <coughs> Maybe then we shall know true peace. <coughs>